Hey you beautiful people and for today I'll be using an old TV of mine and using it as a second monitor. It's going to hook up just like this. Doesn't it look cool? And all you need are three things. A TV, some HDMI display for cables, and products from TrueVision. You guys want to know where I bought this from, huh? Go to TrueVision's website and use the promo code LRTRIESEVERYTHING. It gives you a 10% off on everything. So now that we got everything we need, we're gonna take out the TV and HDMI cables on the side and unbox the True Vision products. So what we have here is True Vision's Universal Monitor Desk Mount. As you can see on the box, it fits monitors from 17 to 27 inches. They do have mounts that fit above the 27 mark like those 34 inch ultra wides, but this model will do because I'm only going to mount my 24 inch TV monitor. As we open it, we can already see its mounting bracket. It's a VESA 75 by 75 and 100 by 100, compatible to all mountable PC monitors. We also have the instruction manual, which is pretty detailed. It looks easy. I don't think anyone will be confused on how to assemble this. We see the metal screws that we will need in order to mount our TV monitor. And we've got our cable clips. Its purpose is just to tuck in the cable for a clean look. Next, what we have here is the stand. This will be the one we'll be mounting on our desk. It feels very light and sturdy. The material feels like an anodized aluminum, which looks and feels very high quality, almost as if I'm holding my road bike handlebar. So next, what we have here is the clamp, which weighs significantly heavy. I don't think anyone will be able to break this accidentally when installing. I'm really surprised with the quality of this product. Oh wow, this feels solid. Oh, and this is the arm. It says True Vision on it. And as we can see, we were able to swivel the arm in any direction for monitor adjustments. So anyway, enough of this and why don't I show you guys on how I assemble it. First step, take out the stand and on the bottom we can see three holes. Align the three holes onto the holes on your clamp. Then we want to use the free Allen key that's included and use it to tighten the screws. Next, grab onto the other side of your stand and just simply plug in the end cap, just like that. Third step is to take out your monitor arm and slide it in. Then, fasten the arm using the free Allen key that's included, not too tight because we need to adjust the height depending on our height preference for later. Okay, so I'll mount it right here temporarily just to show you guys how easy it is to clamp it on the table. Basically, you just slide it in your table, then lock it in place. There you go, just like that. And finally, you just need to screw in the mounting bracket and you're done. Pretty easy, right? But for you guys out there that's just like me, where you have a TV instead of a PC monitor, you won't be able to mount it due to its different bracket size. Well, good thing True Vision has this bracket adapter where we can be able to mount any monitor 27 inches and below. It looks fairly easy. It seems that what we just need to do is screw in the balls tightly. So what we can see is that we've got tons of screws and bolts included, which is really nice. You've got your bracket clamp for those monitors that aren't mountable. But we won't be using this because we'll just align it on our existing TV mount. Lastly, we've got our extension brackets. Again, it's basically as simple as bolting your mounting bracket to the extensions. Once it's done, you just have to align it on your TV mounts, then screw it in place. Now that your monitor is installed, all you have to do is connect your HDMI or DisplayPort cables to your GPU. Once it's done, you just have to tweak some simple stuff on your PC. Simply right click and click on display settings. On your display, you just simply click on identify or detect and your PC will automatically detect your second monitor. There you have it. 
As you can see, it's so much easier for me to multitask. I can just drag it from one monitor to the other and it's just easy as that. Thank you guys for watching another episode of my video. And for my random viewers out there, kind of give a like and subscribe to support my channel.